Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja and today we're going to show you how to make a very simple eggless fruit and nut cake. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people get intimidated when you think of fruit cake yes. because this is long involved process, time, effort, but you'll be surprised about this one. So let's get started. So of course the star of this cake is fruits and nuts mm -hmm. and these are the ones that we are using. We've got some cranberries, dried cranberries over here, one third cup, one third cup of chopped um, apricots, dried apricots, one third cup of raisins, we've got one fourth cup of walnuts chopped, one fourth cup of pecans chopped, one fourth cup of cashews chopped, one fourth cup of almonds again chopped. Mm -hmm. Now if you notice it's one cup total of fruits and one cup total of nuts. So these are what we are choosing to use but if you have one or don't mm -hmm. have the other you can always modify the recipe and make right. sure you get one cup of fruit. What, I know if you don't whatever. like anyone. <laughs> exactly just mix and match or use one type if you want but basically one cup of nuts one cup of fruit. So our first step in this cake is a very simple one. We have two cups of water. We're going to put it in a small saucepan. And we're going to put all of our dried fruits in. So here are the raisins, apricots, and cranberries. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a lid and cover this. We're going to put it on our stove, turn it on on a medium heat, and let it go for 10 minutes. So we're going to set the timer, let it cook, and 10 minutes later it'll be ready to use. Okay, that's our 10 minute timer. We're going to switch our stove off. We also have our oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, about approximately 180 degrees centigrade. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get our dry ingredients together in a bowl. So our first ingredient is all-purpose flour or maida and we have one and three quarters cup in our bowl. And to that we're going to add one cup of plain white sugar. And to that we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, I know you're going to love this one, mm -hmm. half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Cinnamon just makes all desserts yummy, <laughs> <laughs> according to me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and over here I have half a teaspoon of nutmeg powder. Now this is what a nutmeg looks like and all you have to do is just grate it. So about half a teaspoon of that. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those spices you want to buy in the whole form mm -hmm. and grate it yourself because it loses its flavors really, really fast if you buy the pre-ground uh, one. And we'll give this a quick mix. Mm. Smells good. That nutmeg in <laughs> smells really good. It smells like fruitcake already. <laughs> I'll keep this to the side. Mm -hmm. And here we have a clear bowl just so that you could see. Just But you need a biggish bowl because you're going to be mixing all the ingredients together. Right. And we'll get the water and the fruit mixture and put it in here and allow it to cool down. Now this whole cooking process, it really softens up all those dried fruits and reconstitutes them. They'll be nice and moist. Now, egg, fruit cakes usually have alcohol. So <laughs> if you want to put alcohol, uh, just when it's kind of cooled down a little bit, you can just put a couple of teaspoons or a cup whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, and here we have half a cup of butter. We're going to add that in and let it melt. Now you're going to allow the butter to melt in the mixture and you're going to allow the mixture to cool down and then we're going to go on to the next step. So our mixture has been cooling down for about 10 minutes and it's still a little warm and that's okay but uh, you can see the butter is already starting to thicken up again. And to this we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to slowly fold in the dry ingredients. And bottoms up. And we'll also fold in the nuts. And we're going to be using a bundt pan for this particular cake and we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and lightly grease it. So one of the really distinct flavors in fruitcake is candied orange peel. So 
I know a lot of people love it. We don't. <laughs> so we're not going to use it, but if you, if you like uh, candied orange peel and you can buy this, it's a seasonal item usually in the baking um, aisles you can find this. You can add it in right now with the nuts and just fold it in before you bake it. Mm -hmm. And this batter is completely mixed in nicely and we're going to transfer it into our bundt pan. And this is going to go into our oven. It's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to bake it for about 35 minutes. But everybody's ovens are different, so as you get towards the end of the baking time, just take a toothpick and poke it in right in the center. And if it comes out clean and not wet at all, it's ready to go. So our delicious, yummy smelling cake is out of the oven, and it baked for exactly 35 minutes for us. And here it is. It's been resting for about 30 minutes now in, in the pan itself. And it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just going to take a little butter knife or a plastic knife and just loosen the edges just a bit. And we've got a cooling rack over here and going to do the ultimate flip. And hopefully it's not broken. Oh, <laughs> look at it that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> we can say so ourselves. <laughs> Let me <laughs> breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now it's very important to, you know, make sure you grease the pan properly because there have been times when it has broken and you have to allow it to cool down no matter how badly you want to dig in and eat it. Yeah, but actually it's still warm. So yes. even though we, it was sitting there for half an hour, which is quite a bit, if you, if you touch it, it's still warm. So if you wanted to serve this nice and warm, it still is. All right. So we'll let it cool down a little bit more and transfer it to our serving platter and we're ready to serve. Dig in. So we have the cake over here. We're just going to decorate it just a little bit. Have a tea strainer here. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put a spoon or a little half a spoon and just powder sugar. Wow. Just lightly. It really doesn't need anything. It's such a fantastic cake, but this just makes it so much prettier. Yep, perfect. Beautiful. And of course, holly for the season. <laughs> and that's all it needs. Mm -hmm. All right, time to dig in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still nice and warm. It looks so moist it while is. you're cutting it. Yeah. And it is a fruit and nut cake, so you know sometimes it does get a little crumbly because the, when you're trying to cut it, the fruit or the nut is in the way. Look at that. Let's look at it. It looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's nice and moist. And if we let it cool down, it would cut a little bit. <laughs> but we're always in a hurry. <laughs> in a hurry to dig in. So here we go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm, my god. <laughs> Fabulous. Cannot tell you how delicious. Mm. And I love warm cakes and ice mm. cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would be a good one to do that. So this is a fruit and nut cake and you know they tend to be a little dense mm -hmm. because of the you know the heaviness of the fruits and everything. So they're not as fluffy and spongy as you know your sponge cake or your regular cake but this is so fabulous mm -hmm. so I just want to want you to guys to keep that in mind and uh, but it's like tastes so good and it's eggless so and it's eggless can't beat that <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy your fruit and nut cake and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com adding a pinch of spice to your life